Hey guys, Bob Morreale here with The Tuning School, and today I'm going to show you how to hook up your WeGo 4 wideband to your HP Tuners unit. Okay, so you've got your new WeGo 4 here, and uh, what we're going to do is show you what the wires are, where they go, and how to hook it up. So let's start out with what comes pre-wired plug and play pre-wired, okay? So this end goes to our terminated end here, which is plug and play, and it connects up to your power source. Now, depending on what you bought, you could have bought one with a cigarette adapter on one end, so you could use it in a car, or you could have bought one that goes to a power supply. So we'll plug ours in here, and you can see we are fired up and working. So we do know this is good to go. I'm gonna unplug it now so we can actually hook everything up. Now your other side of your WeGo 4 is going to have the O2 sensor, the Y-band O2 sensor's connection point. So that's what this is. And this is the point where people usually call for tech support because they say, okay, well, I've got all these wires out here. This goes to the Y-band. This goes to power. How do I get it to connect to my HP tuners unit? And so that's where the problem lies. So uh, if you have one of our units, we're beginning now to pre-wire them so you won't have to worry about this, but if you have one of these that came without the wiring between the two, this is what you need to do. You need to stop by maybe Home Depot or somewhere, pick up some 18 or 20 gauge wire. Um, you're going to need about 10 feet worth, okay? I like to get two different colors. I have blue, which is going to be my signal wire, and I have black, which is going to be my ground, okay? So all you have to do is cut off about five feet, and then on each end, go ahead and strip it back. So now I've got it stripped back, and what you're going to do is you're going to hook up your signal wire to your number one slot on your HP tuners unit, which is the very topmost opening, the very topmost spot. Good? All right. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and insert this, and then I'm going to tighten the screw. Now, if you want to make it a little easier, you can go ahead and remove it from your HP tuners unit and just do it out here free. So now I have my signal wire going into number one, and I have to put it to my WeGo for. So I'm going to take the other end of this, and I'm going to put it in the spot that says AFR output. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and loosen the screw for that, which is the fourth one down. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Okay, so now that I have the signal wire in and tight, I'm going to move to the ground. Now, this is where it can get confusing for some people. The grounds on your WeGo 4 are currently occupied. You have one for a signal, which has a wire going into it, and one for a power ground, which also has one going into it. But there's nothing wrong with tying in your ground to your HP tuners unit from either. And I'll just go ahead and use the signal ground in this case. Go ahead and loosen it. And I'll be able to go ahead and put both of these into the same spot. Good? All right, so now that we have the ground screwed in, we'll go ahead and do it on the other end to your HP tuners unit, which is number five. So that's going to be the fifth one from the top, the fifth one down. All right, so now that you have this wired in, you can go ahead and plug it into your HP tuners unit. And now you are wired and good to go. You can see one of our other videos for how to actually set it up inside the HP Tuner software because sometimes you will run into things like ground offset errors and whatnot. But if you have any questions about that, you can always give us a call at the Tuning School, which is 727-264-8875. I hope this has been a helpful segment for you. If you have any questions, give us a call or see the information below. Thanks.